high above the scene right now as Drone Watch 3 gives you an incredible look at just how bad the flooding is in Burlington County. After dealing with last night's storms, residents are now in the middle of another round of dangerous weather. Crystal Cranmore joins us from Vincent Town with this part of our Storm Watch coverage. Crystal? Good afternoon, Jessica and Yuki. Well, all of this is bringing back painful memories of the floods of 2011 and 2004. Let me show you uh, the source of headache for a lot of residents in this area. This is Rancocas Creek, and as you can see, it's overflowed just feet away from John Donnelly's home right there. Now, for residents who don't already have water in their basements, with more rain expected, it's a huge concern. In Southampton Township, Burlington County, Thursday, we found this mobile home community underwater, cars submerged, just some of the damage left by heavy rain overnight. It's a stone gabion wall on the side of the property that keeps the, the creek in the spillway. And it's very rare that it'll breach that wall. John Donnelly lives feet away from Rancocas Creek, his backyard now a pond. While the geese enjoyed it, Donnelly worried about more rain and what it could do to his basement. Even a, an inch or so, it, it could, you know, breach and come into the house at that point. Governor Phil Murphy stopped in Southampton Township soon after declaring a state of emergency in Gloucester, Burlington, and Camden counties. Residents who live near the creek. We need to be able to elevate our house. Begged for state or federal aid. It's a complicated process to be able to qualify for those resources, but I promise both her and the residents more broadly that that's something we take very seriously. The governor also made a stop in Camden County to tour the damage there. Over on Main Street in Lumberton, we found people out and about getting a look at the aftermath. The weather even bringing out meteorologists in the making. Oh, this is even deeper. Homes weren't the only places impacted. Paco service between the Lindenwald and Broadway stations was suspended due to flooding, making a hectic commute for travelers. I didn't know I would come right, you know, but bar barred me like this. Now, flood waters prompted rescues as well as evacuations, at least 28 right here in Burlington County. Now, with more rain to come, first responders are standing by. Live in Southampton Township, Crystal Cranmore, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Crystal, thank you for that.